All right, welcome to Dragon Works. 1979 Honda GL1000 Gold Wing. And have you ever heard the saying, if the story sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And I think that's the situation we got here with this bike. So I believe my customer bought this with the impression that it just needed the brake fix, the front brake. And he told me he just needed a carb adjustment. So if I had a dime for every time I heard that story, brake shot, probably master cylinder shot. But, so, I'm only working on these gold wings now on a case-by-case -case basis. And so, what I've been doing, had the customer bring it in, and I did some diagnostics why he was here. We set time up for that. And I checked, the very first thing is the compression on the motor. For once, first time ever, I've got one that has excellent compression. So, that's a good sign. Uh, we tried, we started the bike up, it was hard starting, didn't want to run right, and it would only run on choke. So unfortunately, the carburetors do have to come off and be rebuilt. They do not need adjustment, they need to be t entirely rebuilt. That's one of the reasons I'm saying I only do these case by case now. If you don't have a good strong motor, and you're not willing to freshen it up, I'm not touching the carburetors anymore. Because, as, you know, I've stated many times to you all, the engine is what controls the carburetors. The vacuum off of the engine sucks the fuel and air mixture in there. And if the engine isn't strong, well, it's not going to suck that mixture properly. And they're never going to run right no matter what you do. So that's the only way I'm taking them. <laughs> if they have excellent compression or you're willing to pull the motor and rebuild it. And then we'll go from there. Um, because people, they want the impossible. They want it to run perfect. But, you know, the motors come in here. They're 120 130 PSI, they will not run properly. Plain and simple, end of the story. Uh, that's not the only problems he has. Uh, unfortunately, I know these bars, um, sorry, I already got the thing up here and I'll talk about that too. Let me squeeze by here. They put these bars on here to, you know, it looks cool and all that, um, but they never switched the cables out as you can see they left the long cables on and they just kind of pulled them tight zip tied them together so basically the person who was riding it was riding around with this clutch pulled in halfway all the time that's basically what this does when you pinch a cable it pulls the end and pulls your clutch so now there's no clutch left it's all burnt up and unfortunately that is a really tough job um, ideally you'd pull the motor out and be able to do it real nice and easy, but the manual and everything does state that you can do it in the frame. But if you see, that's my cover right there at the end of my finger. And then right here at the tip of my finger is the frame. And then there's a little hose in between. So we got, oh, I don't know, maybe a good inch and a half to, once we removed that cover to try to put the clutch in there. Sorry, it's a little tough spot to get it focused, but... Uh, take my word for it. You're going to see more on this later. So, I mean, unfortunately, that takes time, and time is money. And I don't, you know, when people hear that, oh, all they need is a little carb adjustment, and they're on their way. Then, once we get that done, so we'll get the motor going good first. Um, you know, rebuild the carbs, get it running good. Once it's running really good, we'll move on to do the clutch. Then we'll go to get get it to stop <laughs> and get these brakes fixed up then um well we'll probably do this you know during the card part here but we got to do something with these all this extra cable it's so bound up that when you turn your throttle it just stays in position it doesn't snap back you got to turn it back Okay, and then like we said, we definitely got to do something with the clutch cable here because it's too long and it's it's got the clutch halfway applied right now. And I'm not sure if you saw this beforehand, but the tires are just totally shot. So it needs brake tires, all new cables, needs carbs rebuilt, needs clutch, and hopefully the transmission's okay because I really don't have a good way of testing it. You put this thing in gear right now and it just moves like it's in neutral. There is just no clutch left whatsoever. 
So anyway, this is going to be a project, guys. So first things first, we got to get it torn down, get those carbs off there so I can get them rebuilt. Well, let's get to it, shall we? Okay, guys, I almost forgot that I wanted to do a startup for you. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way. If it does start, it did start right up when it got here. Um, but it would not run if you put the choke off. Let's see what it does. Full choke, gas on. All oh, these little covers hang on, they're gonna rattle. They have the screws part of the way in. This is probably gonna make a lot of noise, guys. It's gonna rattle up here on the metal stand, but I think you'll get the point. Oh yeah, see, it tries to start right up. That's a good sign. That's because of that strong motor. <laughs> That was weird when it started right up and then now it doesn't start. Typical. <laughs> Let me try to hold a little throttle open. stay running half choke. <laughs> so yeah, you see if she run a little bit rough. Alright, that's no choke. Again, that's no choke. One more time and that's it. We don't want to abuse it. Okay, I think you get the point. Uh, it does not run well. So time for me to make it run well. There's the before. And stay tuned for the after.
everybody messes up. They forget to take this off. All you gotta do is loosen it up. There is a couple O-rings in there, but take the screws out and move it to the side so it will come out of the frame. You'll see what I'm talking about when we get there. Okay, just as expected, they are dirty. Boy, are they grungy. Them jets, look at them, they're completely clogged up. This one here. Yeah, that one there on the left is completely clogged. Whoa, look at the bowls. See? I didn't even have to take them apart, and I could tell you this is what was going on. When you've messed with them long enough, you can kind of figure what's going on. Look at that grunge in there. This is inside the carburetor, guys. Yuck! Uh, most of this is sediment out of the tank from when it sits real long, so we'll have to flush that out. It don't look too bad. I looked at it. It's not real rusty. Um, that carb looks like it might not have been getting anything. Probably because it's leaning on the kickstand. That's what happens. So yeah, they're they're grungy. Alright, this bike's gonna run amazing when I get done. Oh my, got my work cut out for me though. <laughs> 